Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. Triss is working on something. We're gonna go help her out. Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes. Somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks, nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Triss seems to put a lot of faith in people that she probably really shouldn't be trusting. Now, while this guy doesn't seem like someone who's would sell her out, I don't know, he seems like kind of an idiot and might uh, accidentally let the fact that she's a sorcerer slip, you know. Either that, or if he gets captured, he might sing like a canary once they start torturing him. What the hell does he have drowners in his basement for? Hmm. Keeps a lot of lit torches down here, too. It's clearly getting pretty dangerous for any of the sorceresses, or sorcerers, or mages, or whatever the hell you want to call them, in Novigrad. Now, apparently, I had looked into it a little bit, because it, it wasn't immediately clear to me, although it is referenced a few times now that I think about it, the fact that Novigrad exists as kind of a semi-free city. It's part of Redania, in a sense, but it's also sort of not. It is effectively controlled by its own sort of like council, city council or something like that. And they are in turn controlled by the mafia of this city. But in a sense, they're sort of like a commonwealth of Redania. So what kind of influence Radovid has it over them? Well, they do pers persecute mages, so obviously some influence. Free city of Novigrad. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. The elves occupy Snow. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. We've seen a number of mages so far in this game, but the three we've really had any sort of meaningful encounters with have been Yennefer, the first one we had seen, who was 
I don't know. How do I refer to her other than using the word bitch? I'm not sure. She tends to think she's better than everybody. She might be. I don't know. But you don't really have to show it, do you? <laughs> I guess that kind of attitude is going to come with somebody who has the kind of magical power that she has. Then we run into Kira. Kira, not quite as abrasive of a person, but she's definitely primarily motivated by her self-interest. And both of them stand in pretty significant contrast to Triss here, who is much more polite, even though this guy clearly did something which screwed her over, throwing the package she needs in the river so she could do this job. She's still, in a sense, sympathetic to the guy. I doubt that sympathy is something that either Yennefer or Kira would have shown. Kind of makes Triss the most pleasant of the three that we've really talked to. So obviously if she's going to be in the city, she's obviously up to something because hanging out in Novigrad seems like probably the most dangerous place possible for a mage. So if she's here, she's got to be here for a reason. And if she, when she comes across as being a bit more of a selfless individual, it's probably not, uh, it's probably not for her own benefit and it's probably going to be dangerous. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. It's only implied here, not specifically stated, and I don't really know the details of it. But back when Geralt had lost his memory previously, Yen, or not Yen, Triss here had taken advantage of him in some way, but I don't know the details. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Triss, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Triss? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Right then, let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed me. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, we'll then... I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. It seems like Triss in and of herself a little bit overkill for this job of chasing, chasing rats out of her warehouse, but bringing Geralt along too? Yeah, a little bit over the top. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. 
Of course, Triss doesn't really seem to be that capable of lying low. I mean, look the way she dresses. I mean, if there's any way to gather attention, it's that. Of course, that's a uh, sort of an option that was enabled by default, a sort of DLC costume that she wears later on in the game. It kind of got enabled by default, though. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well? 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 Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Check my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember. I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this poor son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Whatever the hell Triss is trying to do in this city, she's clearly not capable of living, well, a clandestine enough of a life in order to get away with even living in this city, much less trying to pull anything off. She went around and told these people, these people that she really shouldn't have been trusting, the fact that she was a sorceress. And, well, things haven't gone too well. I don't know how powerful these people are supposed to be, but I guess it's supposed to be, um, supposed to have the impression that she wouldn't have survived this encounter had Geralt not been here. If not for you, we need to find Bran. I guess that confirms it. Sorceresses and mages and all that are supposed to be really powerful, I take it. 
Although, I'm not quite sure how powerful they're supposed to be in a sort of a combat situation. And had they been so powerful that they were able to sort of defend themselves in any circumstance, I doubt the Witch Hunters would have had much success up to this point. But as it seems, just like the people getting burned in the town square, they are quite capable of taking down mages. So... Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. City is definitely a dangerous place, but we do have to spend some more time here. Now we need to go and find this Corrine Tilly, because she may be able to come up with some information as to series whereabouts. Don't worry though, we will be returning back to Triss's storyline while we're in the area. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. Ah! 